Hi everyone, this is Teacher Sandra. So in this video, I'll be going through P5 Nanyang Essay 1 2019 Paper 1. Question 1, 47,186. The digit 7 is in the thousands place, so it stands for 7 thousands. Option 2. Question 2, order of operations. So we have a bracket in this question. So we have to sort out the bracket first. So within the bracket, we have minus and divide. So we're going to have to do divide first. That's 3. Then I just copy down the rest. Now within the bracket, now it's 12 minus 3, so that's 9. Okay, next, I'm left with plus, times, and minus. I will have to do the multiplication first. So that's 36. Now I'm left with plus and minus. So for addition and subtraction, we do from left to right, whichever comes first. So this is plus first, all right? So we will do 62 minus 2, and the answer is 60, option 3. Question 3, express 7 out of 20 as a decimal. In order to express a fraction as a decimal, we need to change our denominator to 10, 100, or 1000. And in this case, we can multiply by 5 to make the denominator 100. So if you have out of 100, means you have two decimal places, 1, 2, you put 35 there, the answer is 0 0.35, option 4. Question 4, what's the missing number in the box? So 10 plus 3 gives us 13. 7 out of 10 is 0 0.7. 9 out of 100 is 0 0.09. So what we're left with is um, 0 0.008. So in this case, this is three decimal places. Therefore, the denominator will be 1000, option 3. Question 5, express 3,015 centimeters in meters. Now, um, 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So if we want to convert from centimeter to meters, we will have to divide by 100. So in this case, we will divide by 100 by shifting the decimal point to the left two times. This will be 30.15 meters, option 2. Question 6, express 0 0.72 as a fraction in its simplest form. 72 out of, this is two decimal places, therefore it is 100. So if we simplify this, I can actually divide it by 4. I get 25, 72 divided by 4 is 18. So 18 out of? 25 option 2. Question 7, express 20.1. Sorry, find the value of 20.1 times 100. So when we multiply by 100, we shift our decimal point to the right two times. So there's a space, so I add a 0. So the answer is 2010, option 4. Question 8, they are talking about Triangle W, Y, Z. This triangle. And they say that the base is Y, Z. If Y, Z is the height, sorry, if Y, Z is the base, the height would be here, which is equivalent to X, Y. So the answer is option 1. Question 9, we want to find the area of triangle A, B, C. ABC is this, the base is BC, the height is 7. So half times base times height, I divide by 2, divide by 2. The area would be 70 square centimetres. Number 10, express 4,000 4, milliliters in cubic centimeters. Now, so 1 liter is equals to 1,000 milliliters, which is equals to 1,000 
cubic centimeters. Basically, milliliters and cubic centimeters are the same. So this is option Y. Question 11, we know that May is 1,256. So then we want to find June. The question tells us he sold 131 more in May. Okay, so May is more. So June is less. So to find June, I will minus. Um, this gives me 5, 2, 1, 1. Okay, so 1, 1, 2, 5 for June. So in both months, you need to take May plus June. Two, three, eight, one. Option three. Question twelve. A total of three hundred and twenty thousand dollars was collected. Ten classes and twenty pupils in each class. Each pupil collected the same amount of money. So how much money was collected from each pupil? So then we just need to take the total amount divided by ten classes. $32,000 was collected from each class and there were 20 students in each class so it's 3,200 divided by 2 which is 1,600 option 1 question 13 so 3 tennis balls and 4 golf balls the mass is 0 0.352 and 3 tennis balls and 3 golf balls mass is 0 0.306 Can you see that if I take um, let's call this sentence 1, equation 1 and equation 2 Can you see that if I take equation 2 to minus equation 1 3 tennis balls minus 3 tennis balls no more, right? Oh, wait, it should be the other way around. Uh, equation 1 <laughs> minus equation 2. My bad. Because equation 1 is the one that has more, right? So 1 minus 2. So 4 golf balls minus 3 golf balls. I'm left with 1 golf ball. So 1 golf ball will be 0 0.352 minus 0 0.306. Zero point zero four six option one. Question fourteen. We need to find the volume of water in the tank. In order to do that, I need to find the height of the water level. So that will be thirty minus ten, which is twenty cm. So the volume of water in the tank would be sixty times twenty times twenty. So that's 6 times 2, 12, 12 times 2, 24,000. Option 2. Question 15. They tell us that one third of the pupils wore specs. So one third of is times times the pupils. These are the people who wore specs. So 216 divided by 3, 72. Wear specs. So there are 72 pupils who wore specs. Now 5 6 of the pupils who wore specs were boys. So 5 6 of the pupils who wore specs, which is 72, 60. So 60 boys wore specs. Question 16 Writing in numerals 3 million, million has 6 zeros. 402,000 so 402,000 and 500 so once I have all of them so 3402500 zero, zero. 
Question 17, order of operations again, 2 times 12 plus 15 divided by 3 minus 2. So we need to do the multiplication and division first. So I can do these. So this is 24 plus 5 minus 2. Then I'm left with plus and minus. I will do them from left to right. So this is 29 minus 2. The answer is 27. Question 18, this is a division, uh, in case you can't see. So you're going to do long division for this, 16.84 divided by 4. That's 4.21. Question 19, find the product of 7, 8, and 4, 7. Product means times. So you do your cross cancellation, divide by 7, divide by 7, divide by 4, divide by 4. The answer is half. I will skip question 20 because it's done already in this paper. So move on to 21. Question 21, I will draw a timeline. So he left his house at 0645 and he took 45 minutes to travel, right? So then if we count 45 minutes later, that would give us 730. So in the 24 hour clock, 0730. Question 22, 10 chocolate bars were shared equally among 12 children. So what fraction of a chocolate bar did each child get? So we're going to have to take the 10 chocolate bars divided by the 12 children. So 10 divided by 12 is simply 10 out of 12. And if you simplify, divide both the numerator and denominator by 2, you will get 5 out of 6. Question 23. There were 40 rows of banana plants and 150 banana plants in each row. How many banana plants are there? So then we can take 150 times 40. I'm just going to hold my zeros away. I'm just going to take 15 times 4, which is 60. And I put back the two zeros. So that's 6,000. So this one, they said the number is rounded off to the nearest 100 and it's 9007, they ask us to find the smallest possible value of this number. So since they say nearest 100, right? 100, it's going to split, divide it by 2 is 50. When they say that the number after being rounded off to 9007, the smallest possible number will be minus 50, this. And whereas the greatest possible number will be plus 1 less than this, which is 49. So in this case, they're looking for smallest possible number. It will be 9,700 minus 50. Question 25. The mass of 50 marbles is 0 0.65 kg. What's the mass of a marble? So take note, the clue given in kilograms the answer they want it in kilograms as well. So don't change it to grams, all right? So what we need to do is to just take 0 0.65 divided by 50. And in this case, let me just swap it. I'm just going to break this up, divided by 5, divided by 10. So 0 0.65 divided by 5 is 0 0.13. So I work this out to 0 0.13 and I still have to divide it by 10. And when I divide by 10, I shift it to the left one time. This gives me 0 0.013. Question 26. So we are they're asking us how many unit cubes I used to build the solid. Let's count it level by level. Okay, we have four levels here. So the first level, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 cubes. The second level, we have 1, 2, 3 cubes. Third level, we have 1. Fourth level, we have 1. Therefore, in total, we have 12 cubes. Question 27. 
So they want us to draw the top view and also the front view. Okay, so um, I think it's given here already. So the top view is like that. Okay, and as for the front view, you will see this. Question 28. So you have two fractions in the question. This is one third filled and half filled. So the filled, they're both referring to the same beaker. All right, so same beaker, I'm going to have to change to the same denominator, which I will make the denominator 6. So I cut the beaker into 6 parts. Initially, it was 2 thirds filled. Added 360 milliliters of water and it became half filled. Meaning, 360 is one unit. So what's the capacity of the beaker? 360 times 6. Take note, this is in milliliters. The question wants us to give our answer in liters. So 2160 milliliters, if I want to convert it to liters, 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliters. So from milliliters, you want to convert it back to liters, we will divide by a thousand. So we divide by a thousand, you shift a decimal point to the left three times, one, two, three. It ends up being 2.160, which is 2.16 liters. Question 29, I'll illustrate using a model because um, Polly had equal lengths of orange and green ropes at first. So at first, both same, same. So she used um, 18.5 meters of orange, 35.5 meters of green, so used and used. The length of the orange rope was five times the length of the remaining green. So this is one U, two U, three, four, five units and the green was left with one unit. So from here, I'm able to find out four units. That will be the difference between 35.5 and 18.5. That's 17. So what is the length of the remaining green rope? We want to find this. One unit. So one unit would be 17 divided by 4. If you want to leave it as a decimal, let's do our long division. 0 0.0. So you bring down zero, that's two. Bring down another zero, five. So that's 4.25 meters left. Question 30, we have a square. JKMN is a square, which means this is also 12 cm. This is also 12 cm. And they tell us that LN is twice of JK, meaning this is also 12 cm, which makes all these equivalent triangles. They are equal. They are the three of the same. So let me find the area of one triangle. Then I multiply by three, I will get the area of the figure. So one triangle would be half times 12 times 12, which is 72. So the area of the figure would be three triangles, so 72 times three, which will give me 216. So the answer of the figure would be 216 square centimeters. That's the end of paper one, so look out for the next video for our paper two. Happy practicing!